I'm going to show you how to create a saver object in order to remember a custom object that will survive the activity or a process recreation using the saved instant state mechanism. Saved instant state is a feature in Android that allows you to save and restore the state of an Android application, like the state of a composable screen. That state will be saved across uh, configuration changes, such as uh, screen rotations or when the app goes into the background and returns to the foreground. This mechanism is important for preserving the user interface and the data when the application's life cycle is uh, temporarily disrupted. In this example here, we have a simple person data class that holds two properties. In our screen, we are initializing and remembering one person object. Down below, we are displaying that data from the same person object, and when pressing a button, the value of our person object will be updated with a new value, which will eventually cause a recomposition process that will immediately update our UI. However, what if we rotate our screen now? Well, you will see that the data will be lost, we are going to see the initial values and not the updated ones. How can we remember this object so that when a process recreation triggers, our data will stay the same? Well, there are two main solutions for that. The first one, by using a view model and storing the state inside it. Because, by default, a view model will survive a configuration change. The second way, and the one that I'm going to show you here, is by using a remember savable function with a custom saver. Let's replace remember with a new function. Run the application, and you will notice that our application will crash, because of the runtime exception. Open up the logcat, and the error will say mutable state containing a person object cannot be saved using the current savable state registry because a default implementation only supports the types which can be stored inside the bundle. And the bundle only accepts primitive types. Which is why we need to implement a custom saver object to describe how to save our object inside the bundle. So let's do that create a new object and uh, implement a saver interface. We need to pass uh, two types. The first one is the actual object that uh, we want to save, and the second one is the map of a key and value pairs. The key will represent a property name in a form of a string, and the value will be of any type, since uh, we have a string value for the name and an integer value for the age. Now, let's override two functions, save and restore. The first one takes a person object and returns a map that we need to save. The second one takes a map that we have saved and we are constructing an object that we need to return. Simple as that. Now, pass that uh, custom saver object as a function parameter. Run the app once again update the state value, try rotating the screen, and uh, voila, a person object is uh, successfully saved inside the bundle. Comment down below and let me know if you have used uh, a custom saver to remember an object so far, and don't forget to like this video, but only if you find it helpful. For this video, that will be all.